guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm officially losing it. So it is Thursday the 21st. And obviously you saw from Wednesday's video, um, things, have, things are getting crazy. <laughs> Things are starting to fall apart, but that's okay because we've got like, what, five days left? We can do it, guys. We can do this. I can do this. <laughs> so today started out awful. <laughs> Not awful, just kind of like, and we're going. Um, Chaz and I slept through our alarms. I, I don't I don't know what is wrong with us right now. Like we must just be both so exhausted because we're not going to bed that late. Like I went to bed probably around 10.30 last night, 11, which maybe is a little bit late, but we are sleeping through our alarms. Like we're sleeping through them because they're still set on my phone and my phone is on. Like it's not like it's on vibrate or silent, like there and the volume is up, but we are sleeping through them. We are sleeping through them because we woke up today at 7.30. <laughs> and that should be a buzzword for you because 7.30 is when Milo's school starts. And so it's like, ah! <laughs> It was awful. It was awful. So it was literally like home alone where the parents wake up and they slept in and they're running around like crazy trying to get stuff done. It was, it was insane. It was so bad. But luckily it was pajama day at Milo's school so he basically just left like we didn't even change him. <laughs> and then his lunch, poor thing, I'm sure he's going to get his lunch box and he's like, what the heck is this? Because <laughs> all I threw in was a granola bar, uh, gummies, his applesauce pack, a go-gurt, and Oreo cookies. That's all I threw in there. And normally he has like more stuff than that. But that's all I threw in. I'm just like, lunch! <laughs> and I zipped it up and I threw it in his bag. It was so bad. It was so bad. And so we got him to his school by 7.35. Um, and I think the late bell rings at like 7.40. So he wasn't like super duper late, but he definitely was not on time. <laughs> it was just, it was bad. It was a bad morning, you guys. I, I don't know. I think we're just so tired. We're just so tired. <laughs> I can't believe that we both slept through our alarms. So then... And the funny thing is, is like, we only have one more day. Milo has school one more day and then it's winter break. And so it's like, we are just dragging ourselves across the finish line. Like we are so, so tired. So when we came home after dropping my, uh, Milo off from school, I set like all of my alarms. I have like an alarm going off every like 10 minutes on my phone for tomorrow morning. But then after Friday, like we're done. Then we don't have to worry about it, but still. <sighs> We came back home and then Chaz got ready for work. He only has a half day today because he has to use up all of his vacation days. So he's actually, like today is his last day for the rest of the year, which is super nice. So he's taking a half day today and then he won't have to go back until after the new year uh, because of his like banked vacation days, which is awesome. So he's gonna be coming. So I'm gonna go meet him for lunch at his work and I'll take you guys with me because his work has like the best food ever. So then um, after I dropped Chaz off at work, um, it's Thursday and that's when I volunteer at Milo's school. So then I came home after dropping Chaz off and I got dressed and um, I had a little bit of breakfast, had like a banana and then uh, I had to get ready like super fast to go help out at Milo's school. I got there, um, they were doing like this cute little like who ate the cookies in the cookie jar type thing um, where they're making a book but they're using like pictures of everyone which is super super cute. So I helped them do like this little project and then they're making a gingerbread man book where they're like oh the gingerbread man found a came the gingerbread man met a blank and they have to come up with something that the gingerbread man met and then they had to draw like a picture of it so I helped them with that. And then I came home, I had a little bit more snacks. I, I've been drinking, like this has been my fuel for the past like three days, um, silk eggnog. <laughs> I've been living off of this stuff for the past like, I don't know, I've been drinking this nonstop since Thursday? No, Monday? Yeah, Monday. Can't, I love it. I absolutely love it. This one in particular is not the best. I have two other ones that I like more. I just love eggnog. First off, I love eggnog, but it wreaks havoc on my digestion. My digestion. 
and that's because of the lactose. So I get lactose free versions. I have silk, I have the lactate one, and, and then I have almond nog. You guys, so good. So this one's personally not my favorite, but I drink it because we got this one first and then we got other ones because I didn't like this one. It's like super watery. It still has a good eggnog flavor, but it's like really, really watery. Not a fan. Um, so I'm trying to finish this one off and I've been drinking it for the past like three days. So yes, this is my, this has been my fuel for the past couple of days. I finished up yesterday's vlog, um, which was, well, you saw, got a little bit salty, a little bit salty during the Christmas season, but I can't help it. You sometimes you just gotta, you gotta vent a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I could probably still talk about it if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna because I've got a lot, a lot to get done. So first and foremost, I need to finish this Christmas gift for my sister and her wife. I need to um, start working on Monday's vlog. And then um, that's, that's all I wanna put on my plate today. That's all I wanna put on my plate. I wanna finish my sister's gift and I wanna finish Monday's vlog. If I get that done, then today has been a good day. <laughs> I think maybe as a reward, but I'm not holding myself to this. I might do my nails. <laughs> Look at my nails! You guys, who am I? <laughs> like this is how you can tell how stressed out I am because my nails are not done. And more importantly, they're not done, but they're wearing, but I'm wearing a manicure that I put on two weeks ago. Two weeks ago ago. This is the manicure that I had for when I was speaking in my church and it's still here. <laughs> so maybe as a reward tonight of getting this present done for my sister and her wife, getting yesterday's or Tuesday's vlog up, I will finally do my nails. <laughs> I feel like I need time to do my nails. The next time we connect, we'll probably be at Chaz's work to have some delicious lunch. I'm actually kind of excited. This is gonna be good. I'm excited about this. Hey everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my work. It's you can tell I'm at work because I'm wearing my work clothes. Very professional. I'm a very professional guy. We got food. We got food. What is this, alu something? Alu something, alu something. Potato, spicy potato cakes, basically. And we got a club. That's for me. Club sales. <laughs> uh, club. Wrap and Italian beef Italian for me beef. to eat in a cow soup. <laughs> so apropos. Oh, I turned off the light. Honey, I'm home. It's like I'm out of here. Oh, and look, those are I made those for Chazzy. Yep. That was birthday, Father's Day, Christmas. Oh, one of them. One of the above. Remember. And apparently, Chaz is very, very highly effective. <laughs> It's a trilogy. You're extremely highly the effective. The first one was really exciting. The second one I thought, though, is the best. That, that, the third one is lacking. The third one, yeah, it feels like we've done this all before. They didn't really get that creative um, for the third one. <laughs> all right, so let's go into this more into more detail now that we're not in a in a moving in an elevator elevator so Chaz tell me about your lunch or oh, your, uh, your I'm having my Italian sandwich it's mm. got like all sorts of peppers jalapenos on there I delicious. think I don't know it's hot and spicy delicious for dessert we have pecan sandies and this is some sort of maple bar marshmallow something, marshmallow blondie. something yeah <clears throat> club the, the club wrap <laughs> I don't know what's in the club wrap I don't know what's in there probably club things what goes in club wrap Bacon. Bacon. You know, it's bacon and something else. And then this deliciousness <clears throat> smells amazing. This is pretzel bread. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Try it and find out. Well, not right now. Uh, yesterday they had stuffing bread. Oh, that sounds good. It tasted like stuffing. Oh, that sounds amazing. It tasted like I stuffing. I wish I could have come yesterday. It's kind of crazy. And then this is the spicy potato cake with uh, cilantro chutney and tamarind sauce. Who knows which one will be the best. I'm so excited! Um, and then we've got cereal. Anytime you want cereal. Yes, because Chaz had a pajama party yesterday at work. Everybody was supposed to wear... No, it wasn't yesterday. Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Yeah, Wednesday, He was supposed Tuesday. to wear jammies, and so he got cereal. Or but pajamas. he bought way too much uh, cereal. A ton of cereal, so I got it in my drawers. <laughs> He's got some down here. <laughs> I got some along the wall. Along the wall. So we're, we're good. Yeah, we got plenty of cereal. Oh, yeah, so many cereals. So, nobody's gonna steal my food. I don't know. That's We're a spicy potato cake. Spicy. No, we have to be respectful because people are working. 
people aren't working. <laughs> Everybody stand back now. Looking pretty fine right about now, if you ask me. Just looking so fabulous. It's six o'clock. <laughs> But at least I'm checking back in. We have had a trend of me just forgetting about the vlog after like two o'clock, but not today. Not no. today. She wins today. No, no. <laughs> so um, that doesn't mean I have content. <laughs> so what have we done? Well, I think last one we left you guys, we were eating delicious lunch at Chaz's work and it was really, really good. Like those potato things, the, it down. the potato cake thing was so good. It was so good. Like the cilantro chutney was amazing. It was the, so good. We got more. <laughs> we did. We actually bought a second. Because <laughs> it's like super cheap. It's like a dollar something. Yeah, right? it was a dollar fifty. It was a dollar fifty, so we bought another one on the way out. <laughs> and like they had these little like sauce cups, and I filled that thing full of the cilantro chutney. I should have gotten another one. I should have gotten a second cup. cup of cilantro chutney. It was all good. Um, anyway, so we came home and I immediately started feeling like crap. I don't know if it was because I'm still recovering or sick or didn't drink enough water or whatever, but for whatever reason, I had a terrible headache and like my sinuses hurt. Uh oh, hot pot, hot pot. Well, it was just a hot pot. Um, and so we came home and I took a nap. And I slept up until it was time to take Milo or pick up Milo from school. And Chaz was such a deer. He went for me because he's just wonderful. Wonderful. He's trying to pat him. He's just wonderful. Especially just wonderful. Man. So he went and got Milo. Um, I was worried that Milo wasn't feeling too good today because when I went to go volunteer at his classroom today, he was kind of sluggish and he was like having trouble focusing and he looked like he was going to fall asleep and he said his throat was hurting. Um, and so I don't know if he was like falling sick or if he was just having a hard time focusing today because he did have like a really awesome birthday party last night. Birthday. Apparently it was just off the hook. Off the he told hook. me all about it today after school and it was like... He got a ball and the skill crane claw machine thing. You know, those claw things that come down and grab the toys. Um, he actually won something from that, which is amazing. Uh, and then he had to first show me, try. first try too, first try as well. And then he had to show me all the goodies from his like goodie bag that he got from the birthday party. So it was, he had so much fun. And so I'm thinking maybe he over exhausted himself and maybe he was a little bit slow this today, but whatever, he's doing he fine now. After eight. Oh, that explains it. Super, super late. <laughs> he went to bed after eight. That makes sense. And, and he didn't have <laughs> breakfast this morning either. Yeah, because I well they know. I told them uh, the tale of sleeping princesses with her sleeping prince. <laughs> la la la. So <laughs> no. now we have every alarm on. <laughs> yeah, I told did you them. Play the biohazard. I did not play what the alarm <laughs> actually sounds like. <laughs> My phone is downstairs, but if if anyone has an iPhone, it's the alarm one where it sounds like a it sounds like. It's the kind of alarm that you would expect Soviet like <laughs> instructions it's to be true. over, it's true. <laughs> telling you to vacate the side. Right, of. and to cover your head and put your head between Cheryl's your knees. Um, so yeah, so I've got we've got alarm set for every ten minutes, even though tomorrow's the last day <laughs> before the break. Before break, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Um, and then. Uh, I went to go work on presents downstairs. I finished my sister's gift and my sister-in-law's gift. Ooh, I finished off the, the eggnog that I didn't like. I finished it off, so now I get to drink the eggnog that I do like. The eggnog that she likes. And this one, for, for all of my lactose intolerant friends, this one's pretty good. This is the lactate um, eggnog. And it's, it's so cute. It's like, enjoy eggnog again. I certainly will. Um, it's so it's so thick and creamy. Oh, it, ta it has the right texture, which is why I did not like that silk one because it was watery. It was like drinking skim milk. It, no, no. Eggnog is not supposed to be like that. I don't know. Maybe it is. But the eggnog I'm used to is like the super thick stuff, you know? It's like really, 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 really thick. And it just hurts your stomach like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but this stuff, oh, so good. And it's like just as thick as the real eggnog and it tastes like the real eggnog, but it's minus the gassy parts afterwards. 
Most of them. Which Chaz is very thankful for. I mean, she eats a tub of beans with it. <laughs> so. But it sounds good. Yeah, Love it. Mm. La, la, la. Okay. Oh, it's so good. So good. So Chaz just made it dinner for Milo. Milo! I really don't know what we're going to be doing I for the rest of the hard. night. Um, I can't think of anything exciting to do. Oh, we could start maybe that. wrapping presents. Oh, that's right. I was going to do my nails. Do it her nails. Because I haven't done my nails in two weeks, Chaz. They're breaking. <laughs> They're breaking. Like nails. Nails. I, oh, I like this. Are you belly dancing for me? Uh, maybe. I don't know enough about belly dancing to know if I am. <laughs> Smoke hands. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna do my nails tonight. I'm still gonna do that. But, oh, but exciting news. exciting news. Chaz and I got movie tickets. We're gonna go see a movie tomorrow. It's so exciting. And then we're going to make out. Make it out. Oh. At the movie. <laughs> All right, so it's time to do some nails. I am so ready to do my nails tonight. So I've already cleaned off all of my nails. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got everything all cleaned up. I've got them all filed and shaped and ready to go. I had some breakage on these two, so they're a little bit shorter than the others, but I think they'll be okay. So I think what I'm gonna do for tonight, I'm gonna do my Christmas manicure, which I'm super pumped about. So the first thing is I definitely want to use um, Festival of Lights, which is from Girly Bits from the from the polish pickup in December. I thought this would be such a pretty accent nail for a Christmas manicure. Well, I am a big fan of gold and red for Christmas, so I picked out these three reds to try to pair with the girly bits. And I wanted to do Colorist to Carol um, Gone Skiing from last year's Christmas collection, but it's got like silver hollow in there, and I thought that didn't quite work with the gold. So I didn't pick that one. The heat is on from China Glaze. And it's like a really, really intense red that I love. But it just wasn't quite there. It's just too flat. So then I picked um, Kitten Heels from Ciate. Right? This is Kitten Heels? Yeah. Kitten Heels from Ciate, which has like a gold shimmer running through it, which I thought was super complimentary to the girly bits. And then on top of that, on top of the red Kitten Heels, I wanted to try doing some Christmas stamping. So I've got this uh, Uber Chick Christmas plate. This is um, Holiday Jingle, and I want to use the peppermint pattern. And I'm going to use the new Big Beauty Bang Beauty Big Bang Clear Stamper to see how it goes. So normally the base coats that I use, I have um, Nail Teaks Formula 2. I use this on my thumb. A while back I had some splitting going on on this thumb and you can tell that like it's starting to grow out, which is awesome. But if I stop using my Nail Teaks, then the splitting comes back. Um, so I've been really, really happy with the with the results of using this Nail Teaks for the splitting that I had happen on my thumb. So that's been a heaven sent. Um, on some of my nails, I use the Nail Envy Sensitive and Peeling um, on the nails that are starting to peel because it is so dry right now. My nails have definitely started to peel. And then on the regular nails where nothing is wrong and everything's just hunky-dory, I use my Orally Bonder, which is probably my most used favorite base coat. It just works really, really well for me and my nails. I'm super excited to paint my nails. I'm watching The Office and just chilling and enjoying myself. And uh, let's, let's do some nails. Let's get some Christmas on. So let's see how this works. I got my base colors down and they're pretty dry. They're dry. Um, they dried really, really quick. So what I want to do is I want to use this like peppermint candy cane striped pattern. Um, and I think I only want to do it on my pinkies. I want to test it out first and see how it looks. I might do it on my thumbs too. So um, these are Uber Chick plates, which I have not used before. And I am excited to see how these crystal stampers work too. This is like my number one white stamper. This is 
the label's gone, but I want to say this is like French Tip White or something like that, or it's French Tip Cream or something like that from Color Club. It is the thickest one coater white that I have. It is like perfect for stamping with. I'm pretty sure the plate is going to be fine. I'm just more worried about the stamper. And then we're going to scrape it. And pick up the image. See, it didn't pick it up. Like, do you see how it's like all like... I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but do you see how it's all like kind of splotchy? Urgh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it with my with a little bit of acetone because I read somewhere that that's a good way because you can't like um, cure these. Like sometimes when you get a new stamper, you have to use like a nail file and like you use like nail polish remover on it to kind of temper it and like kind of prime it. But you can't really do that with the crystal stampers because if you use your nail file on it, you might make it not so clear anymore. So I'm gonna rub just a little bit of the nail polish remover on it just to see if that helps get some of the oils maybe, like there's manufactured oils on there that make it tough. Cause I've read somewhere that that can be a problem. Let's try this again and see if we can pick up an image. Cause like that's, uh, that's what the problem I had with the Bundle Monster stampers, the clear ones that I got, is that they don't pick up the image. Like it's kind of, it's kind of weird. So let's try this again. All right, let's try it. See, it like didn't do it. It like didn't pick it up. I'm gonna try it one more time. I just don't know why it's not working with the crystal stampers. It seems like it's an ongoing problem. And I don't know if I have the energy right now to try to figure it out. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna pick it up. See, it's like not a full image. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna go get my other stamper that I know always works. And I don't know, I might just give up on these crystal stampers. Like, I feel like maybe I'm just using them wrong. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm gonna go get my other stamper. These are my tried and true stampers. These are the Fab Your Nails um, stampers. They're like the jelly kind of squishy marshmallow stampers. I love them. I love them so much. They always work. They never let me down. I just wish they were clear <laughs> so I could see through them. But let me show you that like it's not the plate. It's not the polish. It's definitely that clear stamper because look how well this is gonna work. Like you're gonna be blown away. Okay, so we're gonna load it up again. And you can see like this polish is like super thick. Like there's no reason why this shouldn't work. Okay, so we'll scrape it. Pick it up with the Fab Your Nails. Look at that. See, it's like, it's perfect. So I know it's not the plate and I know it's not the polish. It's definitely the stamper. Like this is, a, this is perfect. Like this is exactly what I want. So. I am just gonna have to experiment more with those crystal stampers. Like maybe I need to rough it up more with a nail file or something. But the thing is with like these Fabier nails, I never had to pure, uh, cure them. I never had to do anything to them. They were just like ready to go right out of the bag. Um, which is why I love using them because they're just almost goof proof. I've never had any problems or issues with them. But I can't, but they're obviously like, they're not see-through, they're not clear so I can't use them for some of these like layered looks that I want to start experimenting with because I have to I can only do that with clear stampers and I'm definitely struggling getting clear stampers to work for me okay that one wasn't as good that one didn't pick up as well so we're gonna do that one again perfect and then Sorry, I know you guys can't see this. I apologize, but but that looks so good. It looks so good. You know what? I think I'm gonna put one on my thumb because it's just so cute. Why not? I've got a stamper that's finally working. I mean, I missed I missed the tip a little bit there. Pretty good. Turned out really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up and then we will reconvene to do some striping. Now I wanna put in some gold stripes into the stamp design, just to kind of tie in the gold that I have in the accent nail. I think we'll do it in between the white and the red. 
It's kind of tricky though because Festival of Lights is a little bit on the chunky side, like there's chunky glitter in there. But I think it works out pretty good. I'm going to have to layer some more once it dries. Put a couple more layers of the hollow in there just to kind of really make it stand out. But I think it looks pretty cute. So these are all dry and ready to go. So I'm going to put on my top coat that I normally use, which is Sech Sech Vite. All right, and there we go. There is my Christmas manicure. I'm not gonna clean up, I'm just too tired. I'll clean it up in the morning if I remember to. But yeah, I kinda like it. Very Christmassy, very holiday-y. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here for today. I'm exhausted, you guys. Uh, I need to get to bed. It's like nine o'clock, 9.30 right now. So I'm tired, I'm gonna go sleep, and I'll see everybody in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.